Nichrome wire of cross-sectional radius 0.781 millimeters is used in winding a heating coil. If the coil must carry a current of 10 amps and a voltage of 2.7 times 10 squared volts is applied across its end, find the following. A. The required resistance of the coil and B. The length of the wire you must use to wind the coil. So we have four pieces of information. We have a material, we have a radius, and we have the, the current, and the last thing we have is the voltage. And we are supposed to find out the resistance and the length. Well, resistance, again, is equal to the, the voltage, so the voltage over the current, and the length, so we have a formula for resistance that incorporates length, so it's the, the resistivity times the length over the cross-sectional area. So let's go ahead and find the resistance really quick. So the volts, it tells us, is uh, 270, 270, and the current is 10. So our resistance should be 27. So R equals 27. So we've figured out what R is now. Now we've got to figure out what L is. So if we multiply, so the cross-sectional area, if you remember, the, the surface area of a circle is equal to pi times the radius squared. But we want our units in meters, so we're going to take it time to uh, the air. We want it in meters squared, so we're going to convert millimeters to 0 0.781 times 10 to the negative third meters, and then we're going to square that. So pi r squared um, is going to give our our area. So we're going to solve for L. So r times area over resistivity equals length. So what's the resistivity? The resistivity, you just have to look up for nichrome, and the resistivity for nichrome is 0 0.000015. Or you could say that the resistivity is equal to 1.5 times 10 to the negative sixth. So when you plug all that in, you should get that the length is equal to 34.49482. And that's meters. Hey, thanks everyone for watching. Make sure you leave your comments on my blog, down in the comments of the blog. If you're on YouTube and you're watching this, make sure you uh, click the link in the About section to get to my blog and leave me a question or a comment there, and I'll answer it very shortly. Other than that, uh, Google Plus users, give me plus ones. Uh, Facebook users, give me some, some thumbs up and share share it on facebook share it on your on your google plus and i'll be posting more videos soon